From the Tennessee Valley Weather Center, this is your evening weather update. Showers and thunderstorms have been active across parts of the area this afternoon. Here's satellite and radar composite showing showers and thunderstorms popping up on this boundary associated with the wedge of cooler air that's moving into northeast Alabama, southeast Tennessee from north Georgia and Carolinas. But those storms are starting to inch westward. And the question is, how much of the area do they move into before we lose daytime heating? But I do think showers and thunderstorms are possible until about midnight or so. They'll be scattered in nature, so not everybody's going to get one. Temperatures dropping this evening out of the 70s into the 60s, then bottoming out in the lower 60s, low to mid 60s for morning lows with otherwise mostly cloudy skies. We'll get a little sun in here for our Friday, <clears throat> excuse me, and then pop up showers and thunderstorms again. Now I will tell you, future cast already not widespread enough compared to the reality with what's on radar out there already. So early this evening, they probably will be a little bit more widespread than what you're seeing here. Futurecast isn't handling this correctly, so we know that's incorrect, but they do fade away as we move after midnight with time. Maybe a lingering shower south of the Tennessee River into the early morning. We start mostly cloudy with lows in the low to mid 60s. We get some sunshine in here, warm into the 70s, maybe even the lower 80s, depending on where you are. And there may be a few pop-up showers and thunderstorms into the afternoon and evening. It's as we get deeper into the overnight hours and Saturday morning as that front arrives that more widespread showers and thunderstorms move in and a few of those could have some locally heavy rain and gusty winds. All that moves southward for Sunday and we go dry. But there's going to be an upper level low to our south and that may pivot a few showers back northward early next week. I've gone ahead and added the 20% chance of rain because the GFS model is showing showers and a few thunderstorms up in here. But this is the first real run it's done this and the Euro and other more reliable models aren't quite moving the rain as far north as our area. So for now, we're gonna hold it at 20% early next week and then we'll adjust accordingly as we go forward. Temperatures, not too bad out there by late May standards. Between the mid 70s and lower 80s, depending on where you are Friday, a little bit cooler over the weekend, especially the overnight lows Saturday night and Sunday night with the drier air in place. Well, down to the low to mid 50s, and then we start to warm up a little bit as we get our heat and humidity back as we head into the first and middle part of next week. Quick look at the tropics. Not much going on out there. Hurricane season for the Atlantic starts June 1st. Not expecting any development for the next seven days, but we'll be watching carefully as we always do this time of year. Hometown forecast for Friday, maybe a shower or a thunderstorm by the afternoon. Otherwise, partly sunny. Daytime highs over southern middle Tennessee, roughly between 76 and 80 degrees depending on where you are. Northwest Alabama, more the same. Partly sunny skies, few scattered showers and thunderstorms by the afternoon. Better rain chances for everybody Friday night and Saturday morning. Daytime highs over Northwest Alabama in the upper 70s and lower 80s. Again, better rain chances start Friday night and Saturday morning, but maybe a shower or a thunderstorm as we head into the afternoon. Dry for Sunday. And then there's a big question mark on here from Monday through Wednesday, but I didn't feel comfortable enough to go completely rain free anymore. I did put a slight chance of a shower in here for the first half of next week, but it's very possible that stays off to our south. We'll watch and adjust the forecast accordingly. So don't be, let this be the last time you try to catch a forecast for next week. It will probably change a little bit as we go in here. Either we'll have to up the rain chances because it does look like that's going to come up into our area, or we may be removing them completely one or the other is correct, and we're going with a middle of the road approach for right now because we have time to figure out which one is correct. The main deal is we're getting a little bit warmer next week, still near or below average daytime highs for the middle of next week, looking to get back into the low, maybe middle 80s. There's the latest seven day forecast. I'll be back at nine o'clock with another check of your local weather.